Hello and welcome to another episode of Game Hammer Live Game Coding. Yes, it's that time when we code games live on the Game Hammer. <laughs> so, I hope you're all having a good night. Uh, I am a few minutes late because, you know, when you schedule a call with someone and it's an important call and you know they're going to phone, so you're waiting all day doing other stuff. And then the moment you have to do something else, they phone. Yeah, that happened tonight. Eight o'clock. Thank, thank, thanks, guys. That That's appreciated. Tonight's uh, beverage of choice is a nice cup of tea in a knob mouse mug. Yes. Very nice. I like. Mm. Let's finish that off. And, of course, we are doing the usual thing. What is the usual thing? Well, I'm glad you asked. Person who I can't actually hear. I can't hear you if you speak to me. Like, uh, can you hear that? No, of course you can't. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the worst example, isn't it? <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh, yes, that's it, of course. Yes, we are doing the uh, thing with the with the bits. Why am I doing a funny accent? I don't know. I have I had no clue, man. I, I, I don't know. Why am I doing the accents? Because, yes, that's just how it is. Why am I like, why am I, why, why am I, why? <laughs> why am I? <laughs> What am I talking about? So, yeah, we're doing the live game coding. Of course, uh, we have ma made the Spectrum version of the game that we're doing, Roland Rescue Redux. We are now trying to get the Amstrad version. I'm going to bring it up on screen. Let's hope this works. You're going to see me for a little bit as I make sure this works. Beep, beep, beep. Dee, dee, dee. Ba, 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 da, dee, dee, dee. So we're going to bring it up on the screen. Why are you? You'll have to ask if I... I know. But they're not here. I'll look, look at who's in the chat in a minute. Let's load this up. Open up and make sure that we've got everything. So, editor. Let's have a look at the blocks. The blocks are... Are they? They're not. Well, that's not good because that's not the blocks. Oh. 3rd of the 10th. Roland Rescue Redux. Let's have a look at this one. Roland 16 CPC. Of editor blocks, window size, no editor blocks. I don't, they don't look right, do they? They don't look right. We changed these sprites. Hmm. Machine, Amstrad CPC. There we go. There's the sprites. <laughs> All of a sudden, I was worried. We had them on the Spectrum version. So let's have a look at the blocks again. These are the versions we have for the Amstrad. Yes, there we go. That's what we did for the Amstrad. Okay, now we know what's going on. Okay. Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought I'd really messed up. So let's have a look at what's in the uh, chat. Captain Dowd, hello. He says, Zoe, I've been having a think. Do you reckon all this gaming is wise? Aren't you worried about waking something dangerous, something that shouldn't be disturbed? No, I am not worried about any of that for one really good reason. I'm already awake, so we can't disturb something that shouldn't have been disturbed. I am already disturbed. Wait, that came out wrong. Hmm. Okay. Just going to have a quick check at the bunch of stupid kids hanging around outside the back of my house. Just checking on the CCTV. They've decided to go past. Uh, they're not hanging about. Yes, they are. They're being stupid, but they're not being stupid toward my house. They're being stupid toward the set of cars that's there. They're clearly waiting for some. That's okay. That's all right. Yes, I've got to that age, but I've got to that age because the, a bunches of stupid kids have damaged my house before with, by throwing rocks. Not stones, rocks. Sir Patrick Furlong and Melody are in tonight, and so is the inimitable James Pats, who says, Why are you? You'll have to ask your parents. Patrick says, at some point during the stream, can you show James the melody photos I sent you yesterday? Uh, maybe. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Right, let's have a look. I sincerely hope you are disturbed by the show. <laughs> I like that idea, James. So let's have a look at this. So last time we made all of the sprites and objects and we've got everything sorted out for all of the characters and people and objects and things that we can pick up in this game. Let's have a quick look at our player events for the machine. Oh, look, there's nothing in them. 
do we have to generate these per per thing? I've gone to the Spectrum version. Let's have a look at the first. There, it's blanked all of the events. That is wonderful. So we've lost everything. We have lost. We have literally lost everything. There's nothing here. All that stuff that we did. No wonder it doesn't work. The the game will not load. So if I were to build, having set the Spectrum off. Look at that. Nothing works. Look at that. Label not found, window top, window left. All of the events are broken. And that's for the ZX Spectrum. So we have a serious problem tonight. Like, seriously. This is ridiculous. So, nothing's going to work. If I let this load, it will do nothing. It will not work. So we have a serious problem now. How can we sort this out? How can we sort this out? Load project. Roland Redux 15 Spectrum. Right, this is the Spectrum one from Roland Redux 15. So there we are, event player. We're going to have to sort these out now and make sure that everything works. And I am really, really annoyed that we have to do this. So, I'm going to force the issue by save as and putting this on the desktop. Just save it there. We should now get a load of events information to show up on the... Oh, no, we won't. Delete. No, don't create a shortcut. Delete. So, click and play. Do I remember that? Do I remember click and play? I remember kid and play, but that was a band. So we've got a real problem here. In fact, file uh, save project to desktop. Save. File name, Roland, and just save to the desktop. There we go. We've got a lot of errors now. Not errors. We've got a lot of code now. Let's have a look at the events. Have we lost all the... Can't find events. We've lost everything. Seriously, we have lost everything. Load project. So Roland is there on the top now. Going back to multi-platform arcade game developer. Roland CPC. Open that. Uh, events player. Now they're all back. It's a weird way of doing it, but it seems to work. So we've got everything back for that. If I now go to the machine Amstrad, events, player, they're all back. All of the information's back. Let's have a look at our uh, sprites. All of our sprites are right. Let's have a look at our objects. All of our objects are right. Let's have a look at the blocks. All the blocks are right. So by making a new version and then going back to the other version works this is just insanity this is in the way this works does not make any sense so we're now going to do save it as roland 17. hi hillside how you doing didn't get the notification yeah youtube's been weird these days all still there well we're going to save it again save project in multi-platform arcade game developer, even though we haven't changed anything, we're going to make sure it's there. It makes no sense that uh, this sort of thing would happen, but there we are. Right, so we're okay. Would I be interested in two Horus games on the C on a C64 tape? There are Horus games on the C64. That's interesting. Weird. Click and Play was a PC game creator done by Europress. Oh, I don't remember that one. Yeah, I, I don't remember it. Sorry. Right. So now we've got everything here. I'm wondering, since we've got all the code back, and it's on the Amstrad, we're, we're actually on the Amstrad, if I now export the game, will it work? So let's try this. Roland CPC. Roland Amstrad. Let's do that. Uh, Amst. Roland. Create assembler listing. Yes. Okay. It doesn't work. End if without if on line 1406. 
missing end while on line 1751 in event completed game okay we can ha we can have a look at that event cle completed game i don't see an end if well that would explain why it's not there end if without if where's an end if i don't see an end if What? Missing end while on line 1751 for event completed game. Why would we need an end while? I don't get, I don't get this. What? It worked perfectly fine on the, okay. So if we've got the spectrum stuff here, there's the blocks and the sprites, yeah. And then we switch to Amstrad and we've got all ours. Can we just make the other versions? Machine BBC, none. What if we copy Spectrum graphics to BBC? Can we do that? We can't, we can't copy graphics to the BBC. That's interesting. Machine, okay. But we can copy Spectrum graphics to Timex. We can copy Amstrad graphics. Oh! Copy Amstrad graphics to Timex. Raise wrist in graphics for the Timex. There's a... Now we've got BBC graphics. And now we can copy the Timex graphics to MSX. Erase of existing MSX blocks and objects and Spectrum MSX sprites. No. Oh! So if we just go to the MSX, will it have the Spectrum graphics? It has the Spectrum graphics! It has, it's just got the graphics for the Spectrum. The NSX already has the Spectrum stuff. Let's have a look at the blocks. It's got none of them. This, wait, what? It's got none of them. It's got hardly anything. The sprites are kind of here. Right, so I can turn this to, can I turn this to black? Yes. Okay, right. Doesn't Acon count as BBC? Tools. Copy Spectrum graphics to Acon. Might do, yeah. Right, tools. Let's have a look at uh, machine. Let's go to BBC. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Patrick. Right, we've got right, we've got the BBC graphics. We've got the blocks. They look atrocious. But we've got them. Actually, they look pretty damn. Good, all things considered. Can we change all this? We can't change these colours. Weird. So we, we can only have mono on BBC. The BBC's got a hell of a thing. We, we should be much better than this. Okay, well, that's all right. Uh, let's have a look at the events. The player events are here. Well, the player events are still here. So this is interesting. File, save project. Okay, Roland, BBC. And let's see if we can get the BBC to work. Roland BBC. File. Export game. We're now exporting for the BBC. BBC Roland. Create assembler, yes. Can't find the files. Right, so we are, we can't... I don't like this program anymore. I genuinely do not like this program anymore. This is... <sighs> editor, let's check the palette. We're on the BBC. Let's check its palette. No palette editor on, on BBC. Right, this might be because it's not fully done yet. Oh, it's an Acorn Atom. This is weird. Change over to... Yeah, BBC's different to Acorn. So, can we change the palette on the Acorn? Let's have a look at the sprites. 
Yeah, this looks fine. So we got an Acorn Electron. Let's try and build this game for Acorn Electron. Let me see. Press Electron Port. Press key to continue. This doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, what up? This doesn't make any sense. This really doesn't make any sense. I'm at the end of my tether with it, to be honest with you. I'm not entirely sure what we can do. Let's try and export the the electron for the sorry MSX. Roland MSX. Create assembler listing. Yes. Error is detected. That's fine. Will it come? No, it won't. Because it's still saying there's an end if without an if. Uh, but the Spectrum version worked. I don't like this program. I really don't. You know what? I am right at the end of my tether with it. Because this doesn't make any bloody sense. I really don't like this. I really don't. This makes no sense. Window size is fine. So it shouldn't be that. Go to Machine Amstrad. Window size looks fine. So what's the problem? The screens are all there. Get off my screen, virus detection. It's Windows Security saying, Oh, you should upgrade. No, just get out of the way. I'm trying to work. Guys, I am... I just don't get it. Go to the switch machine to the BBC. Looks horrible. Definitely agree with you about this software. I haven't seen you struggle with it for yeah. I am shocked at how this is. It's like if you're going to make this sort of thing, surely. Whoa! Look at the. We'd have to rebuild from scratch to get that to work. Right, copy Spectrum graphics to MSX. We can't. Copy Timex graphics to MSX, but it would overwrite the Spectrum. I don't get it. Think. Let's jump machines. MSX version looks terrible. Acorn Electron version looks like the PVC version, so why doesn't it work? Probably coded with the Spectrum in mind, now the versions of software. Definitely, I think that's definitely true, because I have seen uh, arcade de game developer on the Spectrum and on the Amstrad, and we made games on those versions. But this, it's next to unworkable. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quit. Go to exit. Are you sure? Yes. We've saved, so we haven't lost anything. I'm just going to delete all the stuff that was on the screen here. Because we, we only saved that to force the issue. And now I'm going to load this up again. Uh, Multi-platform. Arcade game, des game designer. I think it was actually called developer. Designer by Jonathan Caldwell. Right. Download now. No, I don't want to have to do it again because I've already got it. <laughs> Dudes. Hasn't been updated since 2020. There we are. I have a feeling that it was meant to be updated and hasn't been. I mean, look at the stuff that you can make. It looks great. The Spectrum versions, which you might notice are the only ones you're seeing pictures of, is great. I don't think he got round to everything else. I think we've reached the limits of what we can do with this. I genuinely do. And it, it's unfortunate that I'm saying that. Because... I genuinely thought we could get a good game out of this. And yeah, we made a decent rolling game. It was fun. The Spectrum version's fun. It's a beta. Look at the version numbering. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I think the Spectrum version works. And the idea is to build up the other ones over time. But it's not been updated since 2020. I was hoping that we could have just quit that, installed a newer version and gone on with it. But it looks like that's not 
potentially the case. So I'm just going to load up itch.io again and see if there's a, a version in that that wasn't on his website. Because that's where I, I downloaded from. So if I log in, which is why I'm not showing you what's on screen. Because <laughs> I know how this works. Username or email. Username is on... Incorrect? How could it be incorrect? It's me. I haven't... Oh, well, there goes that. So, it looks like that's off for tonight. <laughs> And we're not getting the Amstrad version, even though we had great looking sprites and everything. It's... This is a real shame. This is a seriously unfortunate thing. Because I had it going and it was working for a bit. I even, this is the weirdest thing. I got a screenshot out of this damn thing for the Amstrad version. I kid you not. It went into Amstrad. Give me one second. I think it might actually be in the latest issue of Antics. I got a screenshot out of this. Right. Let me just grab this. How about coding a text adventure? You haven't lost too much and you'll have a good game for one point. Yeah. Hi, Colin. How are you doing? Right, let's have a look. Because I've got here my collection for Antics magazine. I am sure that the previews contain a... Co a thing about uh, Roland Rescue Redux. Nope, not in the latest one. Was it the version? Was it the one before? Might have been the previous issue. No, I don't think it ended up in. I think he got something with a bigger a name on it and uh, went with that instead. But you can't blame them for that. So, hmm. All right, we'll try up to issue seven. <laughs> nope, it's not in that either. Oh my goodness, in the magazine I write for, and they asked me for screenshots, and it's not bloody there. <laughs> the little kids, they knew I wouldn't check. They knew. <laughs> Load up CPC GAC and make a new game. Yeah, bugger this. That is so annoying. That really is quite unfortunate, but what can you do, eh? What can we do? Oh, right. <laughs> oh. Oh. What can we do? Right. Well, that's a, that, that's kind of kicked me in the teeth, hasn't it? Something I'd love to do when I finish the polish of the C64 Virgo 1 is submit, submit it to Zap64. Yeah, go for it. Not pitching with ideas for this new game. Right. <laughs> First things first, I want to play my freaking game. I made a game, and it was good, and I want to play it. <laughs> I think we did play this whole thing. Like, I made it work. Play a Spectrum emulator, I think. Browser emulator, where was it? JS Specky or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do this. Let's play, let's play the Spectrum version. Let's see if I can... Windows, stop doing what you're doing. File, open. Let's see if I can find a copy of the damn thing, though. Here we are. RolandRedux.tap. Here we go. It's loading up. It's loading up. Here we are. Roland Rescue Redux. I'm going to bring up onto the screen now. Uh, beep. No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> I just brought up the intro instead. That was the wrong one. Here we go. We're going to play the game. Let's do this. Full screen. Yes. And uh, redefine the keys. Left, right, jump. Pause. Go for keyboard. Here we go. We're going to play and get all of the gifts. And we might even give them to the needy kids because uh, Roland is a nice person as opposed to being a git. Honest, honest. <laughs> For some reason, that uh, guy is going backwards when he's not supposed to. But hey, you know, these things happen. Now right, jump back up, jump back up. Roland, get back up. Come on. E, what are you doing, Roland? What are you doing? My goodness, Roland. 
You've got three gifts already and you're just being obnoxious. Jump. Jump around. Jump. 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 Jump around. Rowan, get up there. Silly, silly sausage. Doof. How did I jump off the top there and end up at the... Did I, did I even get the thing? Did I get it? No. <laughs> this is so unfortunate. <laughs> I managed to screw up my own game. Oh, my goodness. I operated on my own brain. Didn't go very well. <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. Great streaming, Numpty. <laughs> oh, you guys know me so well. <laughs> <coughs> right, we got that and that. Do -do 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 -do. Ba 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 dum 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 de 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 ba 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 did we get it yes we got it let's go back over here out of the way of this git here run ah no we didn't oh no I died horribly I lost all of my points oh no twelve gifts there are like thirty or thirty one I can't remember how many. I should know, but I don't. It's one of those things saying I I didn't realise there'd be a test. What am I talking about? We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Ah I know what kind of game we should make. We should make a role playing game where teenagers use the power of friendship to kill God. <laughs> That's usually how it works, isn't it, for role playing games? <laughs> <laughs> and they learned a good lesson about uh, friendships and uh, other things. Yes, I don't know why I've gone for this uh, for this grosh advert uh, type of accent. Hi Savoy, how you doing? <laughs> ah, let me jump back up, jump around, jump around, jump around. Jump up and jump up and get down. We can't go that way. But can we? Yes, we can. 19 gifts. We've almost got the gifts. Almost. We only got 10 more to go and then we can be done. Did I just jump in? Oh, for goodness sake, I jumped into an idiot. <laughs> it's not an idiot, is it? It's a group leaf. There we go. Right. Can I walk past here and get a slice of cake for 10, 10 energy points? to get that she points out yes I did yes I did it's nice right I think we've got all the ones that we need from here let's drop back down and go over here and then walk through here and get some more health yes wait for that that guy gets stuck here every single time it's almost like I didn't finish properly making this oh no been researching musical loaders on the CPC. There were only eight games in all, and then we're all by Firebird. That's interesting. I know there was one that if you uh, if you uh, load it right at the end, it goes. Du, 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 du. Is that like they've loaded that data in in a specific way onto the save file that it will play the British anthem? <laughs> Well, it, when it finishes loading, which I thought was cool. 27 gifts, we're almost done. Here we go. There's two gifts in here, so there we go. I believe that we're almost finished. 29. So we've got the cats to pick up, and then one other, which I can't remember where it is. So that's nice. Oh. Boing. There. One more. Where is it? 
Where is it? I genuinely can't remember where it is. Hmm. Oh, is it? Oh, hang on. I think I know. Is it one that's in the air somewhere? And we haven't seen it yet because it was in the air. Oh, and jump across here. Is it out in the middle? I am. I'm almost certain that it's off in the middle of the air somewhere. So let's have a look around, because I'm almost finished with this game. So is it just off to the side here? Is that how we did it? No, there it is. There we go. So it is possible to finish this game. It's just a shame that we couldn't literally finish it by actually doing it on the screen, on the game. Yeah. So there we go. Right. Guys. This is a real shame that we can't do what we needed to. Did you submit this port for the crash cover tape? Nope. I can't even remember which guy said we should do that. Because he, he came in and was looking for stuff for the cover tape, which would be great. And I'd be very happy to, to do that. But it's like, I don't know how. But I do have this, RPG Maker. We can actually make an RPG. <laughs> we can do it. I, am, I have been considering it. Let me load this up. It's, I've probably gone all... Uh, Jerko vision while it loads, but you know, we'll see how this goes. So we could do RP an RPG, which would be cool. Starting game, RPG Maker MV. The Halloween Point Shop. What? Oh, right, okay. Downloading content, great, so what's is available. Do you want to allow this map to make what? Yeah, that's fine. High on life. Press recon. There's lots of stuff on sale, but not by much. Uh, there we go. Close down Steam. Starting RPG Maker. Maybe we should do the RPG. That would make a new departure for live game coding. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We could do this. So we know that Roland works. It's just a shame that it didn't work for the Amstrad. And it's like uh, I said, and like James said, it is a uh, it's a beta. So these things happen. Okay. Uh, why do we need this notification? Hmm, okay. Du -du 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 That's right. Here, here's our RPG maker. Here we go. Right. File. New project. What are we calling this project? Hi, Captain Dowd. How are you doing? I missed tons. Can you start off again? No. Oh, that's not how it works. So, we should call on our thing, um, Captain Bumface's Glorious Adventure. <laughs> Quest for the Game Hammer. The Quest for the Game Hammer. We're going to call it Game Hammer Quest. GH Quest. There we go. We're starting off. Here we go. TLDR, the software Zoe was using was a beta and defective for anything other than Spectrum, so we're making an RPG now, yes. So, here we go. Here's our first map. Is that where our guy is? Is that where we start? Looks like that is... Okay. So, this should feature Melody, the musical cat. We could probably do that. Okay, so what do we do? Let's have a look. How far out can we zoom? That... So that's all we get. That's uh, that's our tiles for this section. Oh, for this section of the map, so we can have the map move. Right. So, uh, we're going to start with what's this? Is that a mountain? Ooh. We can have all kinds of stuff. Right. We've got some mountains. Oh look! If you join the mountains together, they can uh, sometimes produce another mountain. That's that's nice. That's nice to know. 
Oh, that is lovely. Right, there's lots of mountains around here. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Right. So now we've got lots of mountains. There we go. The mountains breed? They do. This is interesting. I'm liking this. Whoa, yeah, they, they really do. We can have all kinds. Okay, so now we've got the, the, the mountainous area. Hmm. What is this? That's just, oh, that's just hills. Okay, that's fine. Can we undo that? Control Z. Yes, and we can. Okay, right. That's lovely. Right. What else can we do? What is this? What the hell? Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to do, I didn't want to paint the entire place with them. What's this? If I put, right. Basic plugin for manipulation and and parameters shows RPG Maker and user locus at the start of the game. Custom local on. Okay. So, what's this? Oh, sound tests. We can do... Ooh, we can have sounds. We can we can make sounds and it's just there. Okay, let's try this. Theme 1. What's this? Okay, that's cool. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. What's this? Event searcher. We can start... And set events. Okay, let's 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 work this out. So, um, mode. What mode do we want? That's map or event. Okay, we can see event. Ah, so now we can see events. We can set events in a certain areas. Go back to map. Right. So we could start. Oh, I think flood fill mountains. Yes. Okay. Um. Hmm. At some place there should be Jenny or Iron Horse running a, a train station. Yes. Have a look. What have we got? Character generator. Let's go for a character generator. Right. Okay. We're going to start with our uh, first person. We can generate a character with with interesting variants. So let's have a look for face. Well, the skin color will be green, obviously. No, <laughs> the skin color will be red because he's angry. Let's have generico uh, RPG character. Oh my, oh my goodness. You can tell us it's Japanese, can't you? Right, so dark skin is only for these two. But if I press that one, they're light skinned. It's got like 10 different versions of normal skin. <laughs> say normal skin, what am I talking about? It's 10 different versions of the same skin is what I actually meant to say. Default and anime skin is what I really meant. And then if you want someone who's dark skinned, you have two options. That is ridiculous, but Wow. This is this is right. But I I need my character to be unique. Right, we're gonna have Right, there he is. So let's have a different face. Uh, slightly pointy slightly pointy chin now. Oh. We can have oh, here we go, right. He's getting Interesting and angry now. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> we need a guy that looks ridiculous because he's going to be Captain Bumface. So, there we go. He's quite podgy. Yes. <laughs> Front hair. What? Okay. We can give him a Karen haircut. We need a guy that looks normal. <laughs> I think we're in the right. Oh my goodness, we can make him look like He-Man. <laughs> okay, that'll do for his front hair. But his front, hair, but his hair needs to be standard uh, Japanese uh, stock character for for a thing. So uh, he's going to be a ginger. His rear hair will be like. This. Very, 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 very animated. <laughs> he can be a mullet man, yeah. Uh, there we go. He's, uh, he's. Can his rear hair be a different colour? No, it can't. Okay. Now, he is Captain Bumface. Would he have a beard? Yes. 
Oh my goodness, we can have him be a neckbeard. It's Captain Neckbeard. <laughs> there we go. There's our captain. Does he have pointy ears? No, he has normal ears. What about his eyes? <gasps> there we go. Wide-eyed and weird with his green eyes because he's going to have magic powers. Eyebrows. Huge, bushy eyebrows. There we go. Will these eyebrows be a different colour? No, they won't. They can't be a different colour. We can only have one colour. That's terrible. Right, what kind of nose? I need the biggest nose possible. I think we've got the biggest nose possible. Okay, he needs to be the biggest nose possible. And his mouth needs to be... <laughs> like... Ah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. He's grumpy now. Facial mark. Yes! We can have him look like a freaking clown! <laughs> oh, this is hilariously dumb! <laughs> this is so bad! No, that's not... Do we want bestial ears? Oh, we can have cat ears! And piggy ears! And all kinds... This... Why? Why? No. <laughs> Does he need wings? He could have demonic wings. No. But his clothing. He's got to be generic, oh, McFunky dude. There we are. He's got standard stuff on with... Or a huge scarf. He could be like a, a Doctor Who. He's going to be standard dude. Let's make him standard dude. There we are. He's going to have standard stuff. Does he need a... He could have a bandana. Or an eye patch. So he could be... A... <laughs> oh, he could be Bane from the Batman films. No, we're not going to be like that. So let's just have nothing there. But he does need a cloak. <gasps> he could have a pink scarf. Pink spray scarf. Or a Superman cloak. Yes. Let's have a Superman cloak. And it's got to be red. There we are. Have the scarf. This world looks chilly. <laughs> and a giant hat. Yes! Look at this dude. How could you not follow this dude into battle? Where's his gags? He's got to have some gags. Yes! He has librarian classes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is our character. This is our main character. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um. Yeah. So his face image is done now. Yeah. That that does. That's the guy we need. That's the guy they need. <laughs> Save settings. Oh dear. Um. Yeah. That's bum face. This is fantastic. It isn't it? Yes. So we've got our main guy. That's our character generator. He's Captain Bumface. There we go. Right. What's his walk cycle? Yes. That looks that looks fine. His damage close. Close. Close that. Close that. Yes, he he looks fine. Yes, he looks fine. And he's da oh, damage the character? Yeah, that I don't know what that does. Here he is in battle mode. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay, close that. That that's our dude. That is our dude. He is our person. Right, tools. So database. Let's look at our Oh, where's our actor? There there are per people? No. No 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 no. Harold the uh, No, this is Captain Cornelius. Bumface. And his nickname will just be Captain Bumface. And he's our hero, yes. He's the hero. The profile. How do we bring in our how do we bring in what we just did? Oh.
No, these aren't the... This isn't what we... We just made our dude. <gasps> we can have the main character be a dog. <laughs> and we can go on a doggy adventure. <laughs> to find a... To find the special bone of gnawing. Oh, why? No, why? Where, where's our... Oh. We set our tile sets. No, you don't need to do it. The actors. So, um, right. He starts with a sword, shield, hat, cloth, and no accessories. No, we, we want him to actually have some armor. This is... Why is our guy like that? Why? We need to be able to bring in our... I just made a character. Where is he? Resource manager. Where, where's our where's our dude? Import. Oh, here we are. Right. Where where's all the stuff that I just did? Where where where's the, where's Bumface? Where's it go? Documents. Games. G H quest. Bumface. Open Bumface. There he is! Yes! Okay, close. Right, 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 right. Here we go. Tools. Database. Captain Bumface. Where's my guy? I just literally just brought him in. Where is he? This is so annoying. Shouldn't I be able to import my dude? Where is he? This doesn't make sense. I just made a dude. Where's my dude? Do I have to add a new one? Change maximum. Maximum of five. Okay. Right, number five. Can I import? Can I import my guy? No? Where's Bumface? This is confusing me. I literally just brought this guy in. Where is he? Tile sets. System. I don't get it. Starting position. Map. Yeah, that's where he starts. That's where Bumface starts. Title screen can have an, a castle on it. Okay. A demon castle? That's cool. I kind of like some of these options, but it's not what I was looking for. Right, guys, I'm having a lot of trouble working out what the hell is going on here. But we'll get there in the end. So, we've got Captain Cornelius Bumface. Cancel. Oh, that's the starting party. We don't want... We don't want extra people. We'll stop that in a minute. Uh, you side for your battle. I don't get it. We've got... Um, Oh my god, we've got all kinds... I've just realised the amount of options we've got in this. If we're going to make this game, we could do anything. We can change everything. I mean, look at this. Look at our system files. Sorry, types even. Right, we have all kinds of things. We can change the names of the magic types. We can change the names of the weapon types. We could have, instead of weapons, like, you have the power of a withering insult or a snide remark. You, you get the idea. We could have all kinds. We could change the entire thing into just arguments instead of uh, actual damage. And some people are just better at the cutting uh, the cutting quip. That would be amazing. Hmm. But first, we have to work out how I get Captain Bumface to look like Captain Bumface. Let's apply all of that. And go, okay. Right. Because we did bring it in. We, we definitely brought it in with the... Uh, with the resource manager. Bumface is in the list, isn't he? Isn't he?
Yeah, we could have so much fun. Yeah, conceptual. Oh, oh my goodness. We could just have, uh, at one point, instead of a confuse, we could have, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> we, we could give people existential dread or, <laughs> or ask them to visualize the concept of reality. We could do all kinds. Right, we need characters. We need characters. Where is my guy? Where is my guy? We need to import. Where is my dude? Okay, where is it? Uh, go to documents, games, game hammer quest, bombface.json. Open that. We have now added bombface. Oh, look, it's not a. That's why. That's why it's not working. Characters. We've got bombface there. But he's not. He's a JSON file instead of an animate. They're all PNGs. That's why. That's why. Delete. Close. Discombobulate could be. A, yes. Right. Let's go back to um, character generator. Not events search. Right. We're just starting out here. This is this is the very start. We we're going to work on this. Uh, character generator. Right. Load settings. Bombface.json. There's our bomb face. We need the face image. Export. Right, here we are. Bomb face. Captain Bomb face is now here. We've exported that. If I press import, do we have a bomb bombface.png? There we go. We've got our options now. We've got it. Right, here we go. Okay. The walk character, export, bomb face. We've exported the walk. The damage character. Right, I get what we're supposed to do now. I, I didn't do it properly last time. That's why we couldn't use it. Bomb face. Right. Bomb face damage. There we go. Close. The battler. We've got all our battle stuff. Bomb face battler. Right, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Fairly sure you have to replicate that. Okay, let's see how we go. I think I've got it. Let's have a look. Close that. Right, for tools, go back to the database. Let's have a look at our character. So for this, change his face. Bomb face. There we go. Okay. That's the one we want. Okay. For the character sheet. Bomb face. Select that for the character sheet. Okay. And the battler. Bomb face battler. Okay. There he is. Captain Cornelius Bomb face. Okay, this is how we get on. Right, if I press play, will that work? Save changes to game, yes. Can we test the, the game already? RPG Maker MV. Oh my goodness. New game. There he is. And there's our character party of absolute doofuses. Doofus squad, assemble. There we go. So we can, we've we got our guy. He looks like an absolute bellend. <laughs> we can't walk through the mountains. We can't walk through the mountains. That's a good way of knowing that we can do this. Right, we've got us. Oh, this is just so good. That's all we can do. But that's a good start. I think that's a freaking good start. Right. Prize numpty. Yes, let's put this in. Tools date. Not blank test. No, don't play test. Go to database. That's what I want to. Profile. Prize. Numpty. Looking for his ultimate numpty prize. <laughs> 
Right, we're going to remove all of these characters here. Delete them. Yeah, we don't have anyone coming with us at the moment. That's that's our actors. Right. We need some more people. Well, we know we're going to have Melody the cat. Name, name Melody. Nickname Melody. Class one. No, she is. Melody is going to be a mage. Cat. Profile just says cat. Images. Face. Let's have a look. Uh, nature. Cat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Character. Nature. Cat. <laughs> Battler. Where's nature? Oh, there's no nature! Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. How can we have a battle with a cat? Okay. Okay, then in that case, Melody turns into a weird person when they, they battle. Cat. Cat or mage. You decide. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So for battling, Melody turns into a spellcaster to in order to wield all kinds of stuff. Right, type. We, we could, oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll work something out. They have a cane as a weapon. There we go. Okay. Try the game again now. Save changes to the game. Yes. Bumface wanders around with Melody. Can you change the look of the cat to make her look more authentic? I don't know. We'll see what we can do. New game. Here we go. The cat. <laughs> We've got a cat following us. Yes! <laughs> We've got a cat. Okay, we need to go to a village and do things. Yes. So, let's save the game at this point. Save. And where's a village? Oh, that's Talsa A. Ooh. Oh, we've got all kinds village let's go for a village a tiny tiny village over there no don't <laughs> i forgot i've got it on bucket fill <laughs> what's that do oh that sets the tiles okay that's fine that's not what we want though there's a village can we... what no okay There we go. Got a nice village and one thing over here. Should be nice and a lovely little bit of water there. And a little bit of water that goes around here. Oh that no, that's not good. That doesn't work at all. Um, we have that one? That's quite cool. Yes, let's do that. Okay, and uh, what else can we put in here? Oh we've got all kinds. We could put in a road! We could have a fairly modern one. That's interesting. That is in. Is that the is that the random encounter deck? I don't know. Go back to this uh, where we have the option of putting in other stuff. Where's it? Let's have a river. Have we got a decent looking river? Is there a possibility of a proper river? There is not. Oh my goodness! We can have a floating castle somewhere. We could have all kinds of existential weirdness. That is cool. Okay, and a beanstalk. There's a beanstalk. I like this. This is fun. Yeah, this is something that we, I think we could all get used to using. That is cool. What? Can I just delete that? No. Okay, let's try and delete all of those. Right, let's let's do this properly. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of water there. No, that's not good. That is not what I want. Where, where'd I put the water? Where's the water? There. A uh, little bit. There we are. There we go. Got a couple of things. Not a huge amount, but it's enough to get started. Ooh, look at that. That is interesting. We could have all kinds of fun with this. Let's go for that. Press that one. Yes. 
Turns out I don't have this, so computer load Steam. Yeah, this is fun. This, I'm enjoying this already. I'm having a lot of fun. All right, we've got some ruins there. A little bit of ruins. And da, 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 da. there we go. That's that's interesting. We've got some ruins now. Who knows what was there before? Who knows? No, that doesn't work. So that one's up on a, on a hill. That's cool. Yeah, this is definitely a better game creator. I'm liking this. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Go down to there, there, and then off to this side. And that is the, the ruins of some other place. <laughs> Melody's special ability, conquer enemies by being so cute that they just coo over the cat rather than attacking. Yes. Deceptive cuteness <laughs> as a special attack. <laughs> there we go. We've got like, the possibility of something there, which is cool. And in the middle will be an old watchtower. And then another one over there. Yeah, this this is looking interesting. Right, we've got some options now. So we've got our first area. There's not a huge amount in it, but that's kind of how we like it. What is this? That's a tent. Ooh, so we've got a tent over here. Yes, that could be interesting. We'll have a tent over there as well. Sixty nine nine. Yeah, I picked it up on uh, on a sale. <laughs> I would not buy it under normal circumstances. Let's put it that way, because it's freaking expensive. I got it uh, on a humble bundle uh, when it was an awful lot cheaper. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, this is a, there is a lot of effort in this one. Wait for the humble bundles. Seriously, wait for the humble bundles. They come up fairly regularly, and it's the best way to do it. So, that's an iced over pond. That's cool. We have piers next to water and everything. Okay, so we've got an area that's interesting now, and I'm going to put over here. No, I'm not, because that looks wrong. Uh, that's, that is wrong. Go back. We can have the entrance to a cave. Oh, oh, that looks interesting. Yeah, that works. So we've got a cave. We've got two villages. So let's do this. Right. What about draw? No, we don't want to do that. Shadow pen. What's a shadow pen? Oh, <gasps> we can shade things. Oh my goodness, I can put shade on things. Look at that. That is cool. Oh, look at that. That is sweet. I like that. I just tip, yeah. Oh, that is cool. We've got, we've got shade, man. We've got shade. <laughs> can I shade all this? Yes, I can. No, I don't want to though. That is fun. Okay, we can do all kinds of stuff with this. That is cool. We've got a shadow pen. That is fun. So let's have a look at uh, what this does. Oh, this is just our things, right? So, we've got enemies. Uh. Yeah, we can have bats. Bats and slimes, they're cool, yeah. We can drop items. Uh, what items can we drop? Yeah, they could drop uh, a, a potion. That's cool. Yeah, bats can drop potions, that's fine. And slimes, they can drop... Uh, they can drop swords. That's okay, yeah. Okay. So we've got the potential for that. Right. Mode. Let's go for events. Events on. Right. Let's add an event. A new event. Conditions. Okay. Uh, actor. No. No, 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 no. Let's go for switch. Condition switch. One. Cancel. 
Okay, walking on action button. Don't no, we don't need to. Okay, event one note uh, sign. Uh, village sign one. Let's do village sign one. Village sign one. Contents. Uh, new. Show text. Put in a face. Uh, monster or nature or evil. No, nope, we're just going to use bomb face as picture because he's going to read this out. The sign says, Welcome to... Right, we need to decide what this place is going to be called. Ah, Jenny's back. She's back from work. Guess who's back? Back again. We need to decide what the sign is going to say. Welcome to... Let's think. What can we... What can we call it? Numpty land. I like it. Welcome to Numpty land. Population. Oh, hang on. My uh, screen just went off. <laughs> Give me a second. There we are. Population to be decided. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, background style window, uh, background style trans, yeah, window, position bottom, okay, preview. The sign says, welcome to Numpty Land. Oh, because, right, I get what's going on. Population to be decided. How cute. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. The sign says, welcome to Numpty Land. Population to be decided. How cute. There we go. And Captain Bumface is saying it. Okay. Okay. Trigger action button. Yes. Okay. Okay. So there's a thing. So if I try this now. Save changes to the game. Yes. Yeah, I like this too. So that's our first attempt. New game. Right. It's our first attempt. We can walk over these. We can't walk over that. We can't walk over that. Interesting. So we can walk over that. Can't walk over the tree. Won't let us. Literally will not let us. Oh, it will let us. That That's weird. It didn't before. Can't walk over that. We can't walk over the sign. So if I can walk up to this sign, what's the action button? <laughs> I have no idea what the action button is. Op Studios disconnected. Sorry, guys. Uh, appears I just accidentally disconnected there. I may have pressed the wrong button. Sorry about that. Uh, are we still going? Okay, it looks like we're still going. Sorry about that. I have no idea what the action button is for this. Working but intermittent. I pressed I pressed a button. Uh, and it gave me a menu. Oh, the right click gives me a button. Left control. Okay. Options. Always dash off. Okay, that's fine. Control left. The sign says, Welcome to Numpty Land. Population. To be decided. How cute. It works! It Guys, it works! <laughs> it works! God, oh my goodness, we've got... We've got something work. Oh! Can I just click on here to... No. He, so I still have to... He can't walk off it, though. Ah, there. Right. This is it. This is... Yes, I like this. This is good. This is good. Okay. Save at this point. We've got the start of something here. So we've got a basic uh, map. 
we can make it bigger later on but we've got a basic map so we've got our we're on the events menu uh, at the moment this one here events switches to the event editing mode instead of drawing the map so we've got something that's going on okay i think let's put in a little flavor text can i have this for christmas please game hammerers <laughs> I'll tell you now, if this... Oh, it's Jen outside, that's okay. If uh, if this works, I'll be amazed, but I'll also love it. I think if we work hard at this, we could probably have a, a working uh, demo, at least, of a game by Christmas. This will keep you out of trouble for a long time, yeah. I think we've got something special here. Seriously, though, look out for RPG Maker on Humble Bundle and things like that. It does come up. Right, we're going to have a new event. Quick event creation. Oh, transfer. Okay. Transfer. From location, map, one. Direction, retain. Right, oh, we can, create a, we can create a new map. Let's do that. New map. Uh, let's call it Numpty Land 1. Display the name. No, we don't need one of them. Tile set. Uh, oh, we can have sci-fi in all sorts. We can have an outside one. Scroll type, no loop. Yeah, no loop. Uh, Autoplay black background music. That's cool. Uh, right. Yeah, town one. Let's have it. Okay. That's interesting. We can have all kinds of stuff. Autoplay background stuff. C oh! So we can have all kinds, right? City. We're going to have a city. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Play the city sounds. That's actually quite cool. Okay. No, no. Turn it off. Turn it off. There we go. Right. This is very interesting. So we've now got a city. You hear sound? I may have turned off the stuff at the back. Sorry. Uh, right, here we go. Okay. This is our sit numpty land city place. So we've got all. Oh, 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 I'm loving this. Look at all this. We've got all kind. We've got walls and streets. Right, I'm going to flood it with, uh, uh, let's say, uh, no, they're walls. Have we got some floors? Cobblestone. I'm going to flood with cobblestone. Let's do this. Go into that. Flood fill with cobblestones. Oh, that looks horrible. Flood still fill with different cobblestones. That's interesting. Standard cobblestones, yes. And occasionally have different ones. Look at this, we can have damaged cobblestones here and there and it fits in with it. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I love it. I love it. I really do. <laughs> Large monument. We can have like just a stone pillar. Let's have a, let's have a, the base of a pillar. And then the top of the pillar. Oh, even better. Watch this base of a pillar and then the top of it's gone no the bottom of it's gone oh that is so cool that is so cool we can just have random where did i where's my... oh no where where where, 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 where yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not the right one this is the right one so we've got the base of a pillar that's gone this is so good we can put we could make this place look fantastic or horrible and nothing's that there, there's literally nothing here to stop us oh my goodness the power the sheer unstoppable power let's have some walls where's some walls give, give us a while what we got hey jen how you doing all right how are you i'm okay you sound knackered jen i am uh, just been out seeing what damage i did by accidentally reversing the car through the side gates yeah have you had a look Yes, I saw it earlier on. Yeah, I can fix it. We're just working on a new game. We. I've come up with that. Oh, <laughs> oh, there's your crate. Thank you, babe. Oh, 
this tool can take a lot of time. Yes, it can, but look at the look at what we've got. This is amazing. So we've got the we've got a building here. That's uh, what's that? That's a carpet. Ooh. So we can do the insides of buildings with carpets and weird stuff and just a a hole. We can. There's a in a there's a hole in the ground. Why would there be a hole? Why wouldn't there be a hole? <laughs> oh, this could be very, very interesting. So we're going to need some more wall. Where, where have we put the wall? That's a roof. Where's the wall? Where's the rest of the wall that I was built using? Where's my wall, God? Oh no! Oh no! There, I lost it. Did I ever have? Did I ever truly have? If I lost it, did I ever truly have it? I don't know. So the base of the wall is like that. Then we can have an out a stone upper wall. No, we could not. That looks terrible. That looks terrible. Uh, hmm. What if I took this bit? Hi, Krista. How are you doing? Okay, I could have that as a. At the base, it would be like this. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. And it recognizes it. That is very cool. Okay. My, my dear. Oh, look at this. That's lovely. Would you take the coke off me? Oh, hokey, hokey, hokey. Thank hey. you. Do you have a receptacle? Yeah, I've got a. Good. Those like a kid in a candy shop with this RPG credit. Did you yeah. I did. Was it hard? Yes, I'd use a crowbar and a hammer. Really? It was that bad? Yeah, I Gordon Freeman this bitch. <laughs> But I got it. <laughs> yeah, this is, it's an auto wall, so we can have it. We can have buildings of any size. This is fantastic. Oh my, I'm I'm really good. I'm really happy with it. We're we're gonna make a very fun thing here. There's a roof, dress tile roof, and it's pink. What game are you playing? Oh. oh. Baby, what, <laughs> what game are you playing? This is RPG Maker. We're making an RPG on uh, live game coding. Okay, we've got we've got a pink, a pink roofed building, which I love. I am very very happy. We're now going to have a different kind of building here, which is going to be taller and thinner. Okay, that's interesting. How oh, it's done that. It didn't quite work out what was going on there, but there we go. We've got a different one now, and it's going to have a blue roof. This could be called Pink Roofton. <laughs> it's going to have a high roof, this one. Yes. Oh, this is just so cool. And we need some... Uh, we, we, we need designated streets and stuff. Road edging. Oh. We've got paths. We've got paths. <laughs> yes, this is sweet. Okay, this this is looking good. Uh, we need uh, different uh, bits now. We have like a meadow, a bit of sand. Okay, we've got a bit of sand over here. Why well, have we got sand? Because we can. And it, it automatically edges the bits with shading. This is so good. I am really pleased with this. This is this is wonderful. You can have all kinds of crap in this. It's amazing. Let's have a. Uh, a statue of like some some random dude on here instead of <gasps> we could put them on a plinth it would be amazing no that oh oh what if we were to yes on there and on there <laughs> okay this could be very interesting Okay, I am liking this. This is fun. I need a door. We need to be able to get into these buildings. Is that no? That's a large window. That stained glass window. Okay, let's have the base of a stained glass window there, and the top of a stained glass window there. Oh, guys, look at. Look at what we've got here. 
This is amazing. Okay, there we are. So we need a door. We haven't found a door yet, but I'll find one. Is that a door? That's a large window. Is this a door? This is a... How can that be a window? That looks like a freaking door. Where, where's my doors? I need my doors, man. How am I supposed to get in these things? We're not got a door. Okay. Oh, we can mark off what these things are. So we can have like a... We can say on this one, in. Just got to sign this as in. <laughs> this makes up for the mess of the other... Pro yeah. That one's an in. Uh, that's cool. Let's have a potions one. Sign of coin. Sign of necklace. Hammer. Crest. What's this one? Hexagram. Eatery. Sword and shield. A teapot. Well, clearly this is the, the teapot place. <laughs> no. This is going to be a like hexagram. Yeah, let's have a hexagram. Da -da -da -da. That's an, that's now some kind of thingamajig. I know what it is. It, it's going to be like a, a place where you go and... It's like a, what could we call? Priest place. Chapel. A thing. <sighs> bridge, bridge. Where's my frickin' doors? That building is labelled in. Another building should be labelled out. And a third should be able to shake it all about. Love it. There's no doors. There are seriously there is no doors. Right, okay. If we don't have any doors, how am I supposed to get into these buildings? Are these doors? No. They're demon castle windows. Where's a door? <gasps> we can put we can put little extra bits in like uh, oh that's cool. I don't see any doors. Is this a door? Entrance. That's an entrance to a mine. Seriously? Frickin' hell, man. Okay, the one that's supposed to be this large window is now the door. No, it's not because it's too high. Oh, we have no doors. There are no doors in this entire thing. Oh my goodness, how did they forget the frickin' door? Oh my goodness, all I've got is windows. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? There's no window. There's no doors. We've got fence posts, but no door. Oh my goodness. This is hilariously dumb. Dark demon castle, demon castle. There are no doors. Okay. Right, there you are. There's a door. <laughs> and there's a door. Oh my goodness, is that what I've got to do? We'll have to work on... We'll have to, like, code something ourselves. That, that is hilarious. Right, for now, that'll do. That'll do for now. Garden and... Gar okay. So we've got some buildings. Looks actually pretty damn cool. I do like this. It's quite kind of fun. <laughs> okay, we got. We need some more. We need some different stones. Road dirt. A dirt road. Okay, let's try that. Oh, that looks horrible. No, we don't want that. We'll work something out. Right, we need another building. Let's put it that way because we need a different building. Uh, let's try this type of outer wall here for a building that's like too tall there and over to there and over to there. There we go. And this one will have blue or indigo, as they're called, the roof tiles. Now, we've already used those roof tiles, haven't we? <sighs> Cocky tiles. This will, go. this will work. There we go. It looks like a mess. That's the kind of place we want. Then we'll have a hole in the floor. No, we won't have a hole in the floor. That is just silly. That is really silly. Who, who, who said we should have that? They, they, they were very silly and they shouldn't have said that. That's, all, that, that, that's just, that, that's all we got at the moment. There we are. <laughs> okay. So we're going in. We've got a uh, priest area and we've got, what could we have here? What, what would this one be? Like dudes are us. We'll have an armory. That's something like that. Where's, where's an armory? Uh, sword and shield. There we go. Sword and shield over the doorway. 
and a small window. Yes. Small window. Give me a second. And then give up that window. Yes. Oh. That's cool. No, not that. There. There we are. We've got a small window. There. That's cool. That's... Fr Actually, I kind of like that. That's interesting. Okay. That's our... That's our place. That That's our area. We've got... Nice. It looks good. Is this the... Uh, Oh, that's the wall. Where's the edging on the... Where's our pavement slab bit that we did? Where was it? Is this it? Road edging? I think this was it, wasn't it? Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That that works. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Do -do 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 so now we can have all kinds. So we can have grass... Grass and grass and grass and lots of grass around this place to make it look nice because we don't want a place that looks like a bunch of arse, basically. <laughs> we we don't want a, an area that looks like arse. That, that would just be wrong. This is a nice place for nice people. We haven't just randomly made this look terrible. Honest. We didn't do that. Honest. It's not like that. It's not like that at all. No, 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 no. Of course not. That that would be wrong, and, and very very sad. Yes. There we go. Right. We've now got our place, and it looks good. Where are our, where's the rest of it? Where's all the options that we can have? There we are. Right. So let's have a. Is that a town well? Well, well, well. What am I talking about? Go to town well and just be really posh. We've got another well as well. We have random pots. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we can just place these around like random stuffs. A barrel and a barrel and a barrel. And let's have a tree to make it look nice. Make it look very nice. <coughs> so there we are. Oh my goodness, we could have two trees in a row. How cool is that? Oh, that is great. Is that a swing set? No, it's a barricade. Could have been a swing set. Could have been, but wasn't. Wasn't. Honest. So here's, like, the graveyard. There we go. There we go. Stepping stones. Oh, cool. That just random stones. This is looking really nice now. Little extra bits on the grass to to really set it off. So that is not a monoculture. This is cool. I am super impressed with this. This is so cool. The, the sign should have a sign. Uh, the inn should have a sign and smoking verboten. <laughs> this is oh. Few flowers here and there. I am super impressed with this. This is amazing. Okay, and at that, uh, right. I think that's all. We... I found the doors. I found the doors. They're crap, but I found the doors. Okay, we need to go and sort those doors out now. Okay, right, here we go. Put that there. And this one was that. And that one was this. No. What was that one? This one? No. What did we use for that? Was that this? No. What was that one? Is that this? I don't know what that one was made of. Oh my goodness. Is that it there? I don't think that one would be it. Yes. So we found the doors. They're crap, but they found them. Entrance. Let's go for this one. No, just that one there. Entrance. That is so bad. 
<laughs> These are terrible. Oh, but at least we now have them. There you are. Entrances. There we go. So, yeah. Okay. So we got some places. It's not a big village, but what, what do you expect? I kind of like this. This has got a nice bit of character to it. The round one looks like a mouse. So it does, doesn't it? Oh, that looks terrible. What if I put that there? No. But let's just have that one. Okay. Tiny window. Tiny window. Oh, that looks great. Tiny windows. There we go. Tiny windows. <laughs> right. We need one more place. This is going to be a standard building. Like a, a little tiny house. Is that what? Yeah, a little stone wall. Little, little tiny house. Hardly any size at all. There we go. And a little little doorway. And it's gonna have tiny tiny house have tiny tiny windows. There we go. So there's a little house as well. <laughs> so, now we need an event. We need to go back to the events thing for this map. Events. A uh, quick event generation. Door. Oh, transfer. Transfer to Numpty Land. Okay. Direction retain. Okay. Let's see if this works. Save changes to game, yes. Let's hope this works. <laughs> New game. Do, do, do. Ah! Okay, so it didn't work. But we're going to get there. Right. Edit the event. Transfer player. Uh... No. Transfer player. Map designate. Numpty land. That's the one we want, yes. Numpty land one. Okay. Uh. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to change that. Direct designate. We want to go Numpty Land there. Okay. Yes! Numpty Land 10, 12. Okay, so we had to set it. Ah. Remove that one. Transfer player to Numpty Land 10, 12. Okay. Try this. Say changes to game, yes. Okay, this might work. Quest for the game hammer. New game. Right, if I go up to here. Yes! Oh! And it works. You can't walk on the well. Which is cool. Walk into there, yeah. Do, do, do. Can't walk over the barrels. Can't walk through that. Uh, walk into that. Yeah, that's great. Okay, I seem to be able to, though, walk on. Can't walk onto that, but I can walk up to there, which seems odd. But we've got. We've got something special here. This is starting to work out. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we've got something nice here. This is working out. We could then have a, a walk into an inn and all of that. So that's that's working out. We're doing good. This is coming together surprisingly quick. I mean, we haven't put anything in. There's no story here, but we haven't uh, really asked for any yet. Okay, let's go back to Numpty Land on the map. And set an event. New. Cancel. Quick event creation. In. Okay. <gasps> what have I just done? I don't know. Let's see. I've just created like a, a quick event for an in. Okay. What happens now? If I go into this. Please tell me it's not going to say no cats. <laughs> we go in. There's a person there. Ten gold for one night. Would you like to stay? Yes. You don't have enough money. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. We've got a person standing in the way who won't let us into the inn. That is interesting. So we could just have that. So that's an innkeeper. Oh. Oh, that is cool. Right. That's not what we want, though, because uh, then we wouldn't be able to get in. But wow, that's cool. OK, let's close this down. Uh, control Z on there. Right, so we could have an... Oh, that's so good. Right, new. We don't want it to be massive. This is like numpty in. Okay. Tile set will be uh, inside. The width... It shouldn't be big. Let's do eight. Uh, the background music should be... Still stick with town one, but background sounds. <laughs> the occasional drip. <laughs> okay, let's do this. The numpty in. Right, now we're inside, you see. So we've got an inside style. Oh, we can do all kinds. What floor have we got? Have we got spit and sawdust? Oh, that would have been great if we had. Wood floor, let's do that. Let's go for this. Wood floor for the whole thing. That is horrible. Why, why would you do that? No, that's better. Okay, right, here we go. So now we have to draw individual bits. We need... Uh, are there some walls? Can we have some walls? Yes. These are cabinets, not walls. Okay. Uh, stairs. Okay, let's have some stairs going up. No, that doesn't work at all. Okay, so we've got some stairs. They they go up. And then we'll have some beds. And we'll actually have the stairs going this way, in fact. Because I'll, I'll work this out in a second, how we do the floor. Different floor on the top. Can we have um, this flooring again? And shadows along there. Aha! Now it looks like it's further up. That's how we do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not how we do it. This is not how we do it. That looks terrible. Different little rug. That looks awful. How how can I have a? I suppose we could have like a, a cabinet or something there. Oh, I like this. Okay, that kind of works, I suppose. Not really, though. I wanted something better than that, but never mind. We'll we'll go with what we've got. We'll work this out later. Where's the rest of that? Now I need a wall. I need an internal wall. That's what I really need. Something that looks like a wall. 
That doesn't look good at all. Oh, crap. Interior wall. That's supposed to be an interior wall, is it? It looks like a frickin' dungeon. I just need a spit and sawdust type of place. There we go. Right, we've got a wall. That. Yeah, kind of. Do -do 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 -do. Right, we need some uh, spaces through so people can get in. Where's where's the floor again? There it is. Can we have a different floor? Straw mats. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, that works well. Maybe it's the interior wall of a dungeon. Don't start defending it. But the definition of ham is excessively theatrical acting. I was thinking you could call this the quest for the ham gamer. <laughs> Hello, Rich. How you doing? Uh, where can we... We've got to find some decent stuff. That's a table. Why a mesh now? We want... A fort... No, we don't want that. We want, like, internal walls. Go back to this. That looks terrible, and we don't want to do that. So I want an internal wall, you see. That kind of works. And then... No. Right, let's leave that like that. So we've got that. A rug. And a rug. There we go. Kind of. Yeah, it'll work as an internal wall. It'll, it'll work for the moment. Castle floor. No, we want. We don't want cobblestones. We want wood. Go for wood there. Yes, that works. Then we want to draw a shadow here. Not there. There. And there. So that it looks like. Yeah, that. That kind of works, doesn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that kind of works. Okay. That's walls. We want floors. Where's some decent floors? What if I do a giant rug? No! What if we do a giant rug? Can I draw a giant rug? Okay. Technically, yes, we can. We What we want, though, like, straw mats, does that work? Yeah, that'll work there. And across there we have another mat. Wish it was a different colour, but we don't have any... We don't have many colours. And then... Where's the steps to get up there? I wanted some steps. <gasps> we can have bookshelves! <laughs> An addresser. <laughs> oh, okay. I like this now. A little table there, and we're gonna have some small beds. One messy bed there. One messy bed. And one made bed. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. That's actually sweet. That's sweet. Okay, I like that. I like this a lot. This is fun. Right, we need to sort out the kitchen counter. We can have all kinds. But what I'm really looking for is the ability to put in a freaking wall so that we can have them go upstairs for the back. But apparently not. Okay. Well, we'll work something out later. <laughs> We can have pillars in the middle. Oh, I like that idea, actually. We put in some pillars, so it looks like the roof has been held up at certain points. This is actually really nice. Right, now we need some tables in here. Where's some tables? For the inn. Do we have any more? Look at the amount of weird shit we can have. Sorry, I shouldn't swear. Look at the amount of weird stuff we can have in here. This is amazing. Okay. We can have pens and paper on tables. This could be a. This could look fantastic. Right, where's a table? Give me some tables. There's a standard table. 
Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. We don't, we don't want too many. Let's have a, one in the corner. Have one over there. And then right at the back, we could have like another table there, another table there as a barrier. And then we don't have to worry about going upstairs. There. Okay. That's... This is coming together. This is coming together. We've got a good looking thing. And then we can have a... Right, we need to go to the events creation uh, and a person here. Quick event creation in. Okay, there we are. Now we have a person in the inn who will help us do our stuffs. That person will help. Okay. We need a, we need a wall at the at the other end though. Interior wall. That'll do. That doesn't work as an in that doesn't work. Uh Right, now we need more events, more events. Uh quick event creation transfer to Numpty Land there. Okay. Direction. Down. Okay. Event creation. A transfer. To Numpty Land. Okay. And direction. Down. Okay. There we go. So we've got some events now. That's cool. That's very nice. And I think we're getting somewhere. Let's go back to this. We don't have any internal doors, do we? No. No nice little doors to... Although, actually, the events thing did seem to have a door. Uh, quick event creation door. What's door do? Uh, okay. Edit. Can we change the image for the door? Oh, we've got different types of door. Like a nice, nice internal one. Slightly ajar door. That's interesting. Okay. What's on door two? No, we don't want a magic portal. We can have all kinds. That's cool. Have a little internal door. Okay. Actually, that one. So we'll go for that one. Okay. Okay. And creation of quick event creation door again. That type. Okay. Okay. Let's see how this works. Let's save our changes. Oh, please let this work. Please let this work. We've got something interesting here. We can have all kinds. Because we're going to change all the uh, stuff. And make it look fantastic. And have it just ridiculous. Let's go. To here and across. Immediately go in. That is great. That one doesn't immediately take you there. Okay, do I have to control click this one? What if I... Huh. Why can't I use it? Huh. I can't go in. <laughs> we can't I don't know why we can't go in Now I'm running across the top of everything What? Okay, we need to sort that out Right, go back Okay, let's go back to Numpty Land And check our events Because <laughs> we didn't set up a thing, did we? We didn't sell it to go in. We did not tell it to go in. Whoops. Direction. Uh, always going. Actually, retain direction. No, go up. Okay. 
Save changes to game, yes. Please tell me this is going to work this time. That would be nice if it does. New game. Go up and across. It goes in. Right. We're in! Hi, Jen. How you doing? That was... Oh, that was interesting. So we don't really... Yeah, that didn't kind of... That didn't work as well as I was hoping. Uh, right, enter is the activation button, apparently. There we go. So we, we it's all working. It's working. Aside from the doors. We should probably take the doors off because it doesn't really work out. So, uh, delete and delete. Let's finish off the... This is working out quite nicely, though. I'm liking this. Jen will work it out. Don't worry. Don't don't worry, we can sort this. So let's have a look. We should have some... Yes, we should have some beers on the table. <laughs> In a broken bottle. Yeah, a broken bottle. Oh! How good is that? Yes, this is looking fantastic. Bit of food on those tape. <gasps> Oh man, this is looking amazing. We can have all kinds of weird stuff. This is so cool. Oh, yeah, I am glad we started with this. This is cool. Okay, now we've got some stuff around. This is amazing. I like it. This is good. We need some more shelves, though. What, what kind of shelves we got? Yes. Got all kinds of stuffs on them. Loving it. Right. Now we've got a proper looking place. So, <laughs> we could just put dolls and and stuff on. We could put dolls on the beds. That is, no, that is just creepy. We need a teddy bear on the bed. Let's have a teddy bear on the bed. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. That is hilariously dumb. But, <laughs> can we put any people? There's no options for people, is there? No. We've got no people. Okay, but we've got that there. So let's save that. Right, guys, we've saved. And we've got a very interesting looking place that we've got a nice start to. So we're coming up on 10 o'clock. So this is going to be the end for the moment. What's this? If I press this, what happens? Oh, it's character generator for weird, weird dudes. Okay. Right. So hang on. Can we make a... Uh, no, we can't. We can only... Man, woman, or kid. Okay. Um, right. So we could we could try putting people in next time and see what happens. But for the moment, I think we've got a good uh, setup going here. So, right. We c Ooh, we could have it so that the characters don't start with uh, the guy... <laughs> With the cat following, we could have it so that the guy starts on his own and uh, discusses things with the cat and only manages to pick up the cat as a companion if we do some kind of weird uh, thing where they follow us because we've managed to best them in a, in a philosophical discussion about the nature of reality or something. And it turns out that they're a philosopher wizard who can warp uh, people's brains. And that's how we, get, we can defeat things. That'll be an interesting addition for next week. But yes, I think we should try that. That'll be fun. But guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Let me bring up uh, Ops again. And uh, yes, you can see me. Hello. And jump back to here. So th yeah, thank you, Colin. Uh, I was thinking the same thing. It's going to be a lot of fun. I won't release it as a playable demo yet because we've got three areas and nothing works except uh, we get told we don't have enough money to stay at the inn. Alternatively, you could just feed the... Yes, but the cat turns into a, a person in order to fight because uh, they're actually like... The, the idea is going to be that they're actually a wizard in disguise who... Uh, uh, tests people by seeing how they react to animals, that kind of thing. But <laughs> I'm just making this all up on my own as I go. But I love the idea. So let's work on that next time and we'll see what we do from there. But guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you have had a great evening. I certainly have. I've really enjoyed this. 
after the uh, problems that we had trying to get an Amstrad version of a of a get of a game working, to just jump in and all of a sudden we've got the makings of a rather cool looking RPG. I think that's damn good. But guys, thank you so much for joining me. Tomorrow we're playing. What are we playing tomorrow? Zork. So we're playing Zork tomorrow. Yes, I forgot for a second. Then Final Fantasy VII is on Thursday. And I wanted uh, uh, I want a weekend off because uh, there is a le great electric chain show coming up. So for Friday, I'm going to have pre-recorded a two-hour stream where we're playing Thingamajig, the Curse of the Eye of Isis. So I'll pre-record that probably tomorrow and have that ready for Friday. So there will be a show. It just won't be live. But I'll make sure everyone knows about that uh, as we go on. But thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have. I've really enjoyed it. And I think we're going to have a fun, wacky little game here. Which, again, I will release for free. I'll pro probably put it on like itch.io or something like that. So you could just install it. But uh, until next time, thank you so much for joining me. I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson. You've been watching Game Hammer Live Game Coding. Take care. Have a great evening. And bye for now. Bye. Where's the button? I've forgotten where the button is. There it is. Bye.